Today we have Melinda Yee Franklin. She is the Managing Director of Corporate and Government Affairs for United Airlines. And with her, we have Papia Gambelin. Papia is the president of a lobbying firm called Platinum Advisors in Silicon Valley. Welcome to both of you. We are so excited that you're with us. And I'm Lorraine Siegel. I'm the chair, founder, and CEO of the Exceptional Women Awardees Foundation. We started this foundation to enable high-level, high-potential women to become even more successful and rise in their careers. Why would we do that? Well, when I was early in my career, I never had a mentor. And as I practiced law and then went into the entrepreneurship, became the CEO of a number of companies, and eventually in a variety of board positions, I never had a mentor. And I always wanted to make sure that other women who walked the road less traveled, as I had, would have mentors, and that's why we founded EWA. Our role and our goal is to make high-level women even more successful. And so let's get started. Melinda, I'm so glad you're with us today because you are in a role and in an industry that is in a tremendous crisis. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this, even 9-11. Give us some of your thoughts about the future of air travel and the safety of traveling by air. Sure. I'm honored to be here, Lorraine. Thank you. You are my mentor in this program and thrilled to have Poppy and my sister as 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 my partner in crime through through all of this. So air travel is uh, extremely uh, devastated right now. 90% of our revenue is down worldwide, industry-wide, not just United Airlines, and 80% of tr uh, passenger travel is down year over year from 2019 to 2020. So we are suffering greatly. For those who are traveling though, what are we doing to ensure safety and how can we um, make our customers feel safe and secure as they hit the road and go in the air again. So we have many, many measures in place and I wanted to highlight four of those. First is touchless. We are doing everything off your phone so that whether you're doing the health screening, whether you're doing uh, checking into your flight or checking your luggage in, it's all touchless now off your phone. You're never gonna touch the screens. Second is the cleaning of the aircraft. We will clean the aircraft interiors, um, every little nook and cranny in terms of tray tables and windows and bathrooms. Uh, United has partnered with Clorox and the Cleveland Clinic, and we have uh, electrostatic guns and everything in place to just clean the plane every time you go in, uh, every time you go onto the plane. Next, next, is the air the air filters and the air quality on the plane. So what happens, you've heard of HEPA filters, H-E-P-A. The interesting thing with traveling is that the air is moving in a vertical direction. And I've talked to several pilots about this. How does this work? The air is circulating in and out of the plane. So what happens is a small amount of particles are still remaining. Those are picked up by the HEPA filters 99.97% of the time. So that air that you're breathing in the plane is very, very fresh. Every two to three minutes, it's freshened up. It's safer than sitting in a conference room or in many medical facilities. And fourth, I wanna focus on masks. We've all heard about masks and how important it is to wear masks in your general life. Well, also at the airport, we, we are pushing the mask piece very, very hard. One cannot board our plane if one does not have a mask on. Similarly, once you're on the plane, if one refuses to wear a mask, um, after many, many warnings, uh, we will ban that person from flying on United again during the pandemic. They will be put on a no-fly list. So those are just a few of the things we're doing to ensure your safety and security. I feel so confident in that, that I put my son on a plane two days ago to New York City 